good morning from Interstate 94, eastbound in Wisconsin, Wisconsin, coming up to uh, Highway HH. That's a very nice name for your highway. And this is Highway I, like the letter I that we just passed under that. I, I, I never noticed that. Wisconsin, they just, they ran out of names, so they just started putting letters. I just noticed that now. Fascinating. Okay, so uh, we, uh, well, we're north of Madison still, or west of Madison. Uh, we got to get as close down to Streetsboro, Ohio today as possible. It's going to take my full 11 hours to see how far we can get, and we still won't quite make it. But I got to be there tomorrow morning, uh, as soon as uh, my logbook allows me to, to unload. 10 drops on this load. 10. Yeah, it's a multi-stop load. It's all the same load, but 10 stops. Starting in Ohio, ending off in Wilmington, North Carolina. I should have it all emptied by the end of the week. And then I'll probably, I don't know, maybe I'll head over to Georgia for a reload. I don't know, maybe North Carolina. We'll see. We'll see uh, how the cookie crumbles when we get to that point. For now, let's just enjoy where we are. Beautiful Wisconsin. Turn right, right here, Karen. I don't care what you say. I spent a lot of nights at this truck stop. This is one of my common stops. This is the, the nicest or biggest truck stop before you start getting towards the congestion of uh, Chicago, if you're going that way. If you're going south down I-39, you got uh, Joliet, right? Is it Joliet or no, Rochelle? Joliet. Look how TA, a flying J, about an hour south of here or so. That's a very nice place to stop as well, if you're going that way. But if you're going towards Chicago, I mean, this is where the closest I feel comfortable to that city. And we're still about an hour, hour and a half away. I don't want to stay for night any closer than that. Look at this guy, he's got his like camping chair out here. What's he doing? Polishing his wheels. Why did my transmission just decide to rev up there like that? You know, I, I don't like automatic transmissions, but it seems that all new trucks, especially fleet trucks that you get into, are all automatic. I'm guessing because that probably widens the uh, available driver pool, because new drivers nowadays don't know how to shift a stick. It should be a crime to drive a truck and not know how to shift a stick, but it is what it is. We got our half hour break in. Got a video edited in that time, that was nice. Got some lunch, or I guess it'd be supper at this point, and we're headed back out on the road. Still got another close to seven hours to go. Gotta get past Chicago, well into Ohio. I guess it's 
through Illinois, through Indiana, into Ohio. Really starting to come down now. Just trying to get back onto the interstate here. I-90 East. Turns into a toll road around here. As soon as you get into Illinois, they want your money. Illinois loves their toll roads. Actually, there's a lot of states that really love their toll roads. A lot. Let's hope this rain doesn't last for too long because I don't think traffic's going to be moving very fast in this. I don't really have time to waste, but what can you do? You can't go flying at full speed through this. Make sure you have your lights on when you're running through rain like this, eh? Otherwise, I can't see you in my mirrors. For four kilometers, keep to the left on at 31. See that guy on the left there? Not, doesn't have his lights on. Why do you not have your lights on? No one can see you. I still don't understand why American cars like that are sold in America don't have automatic daytime headlights or anything. Everywhere else that's mandatory to have. And as soon as you put your vehicle in gear, the headlights come on, right? It's called running lights. It's for those people that forget to turn their lights on when the rain turns, when the rain comes. A lot of people have automatic headlights though. On my pickup, that's what I have. And in, in weather like this, my pickup will automatically turn my headlights on as well. Not just my running lights. But it won't turn the tail lights on. You see this van here on the right? You can see his brake lights come on every now and then. And then there's this RV. Don't do what that RV is doing and stopping on the shoulder in the rain. That's dangerous. If you're scared of the rain, stop on an off ramp somewhere. Like get off the highway, don't park on the shoulder. You're gonna get nailed. Then you got much bigger problems. Because now you're in the middle of an accident, your vehicle is ripped wide open and it's pouring rain. So now you're gonna be cold, wet, and your vehicle's gonna be wrecked. And you gotta do paperwork and wait for the cops to show up. Nobody likes paperwork. Chicka go! Chicka go dodging bullets. Chicka go. One of the most dangerous cities in America, right here. As long as you mind your own business, stick to the freeways and just get out, you're usually okay. So we're on 290 right now. I'm trying to avoid most of the city. Get on a 294 in about two miles here and continue south where it'll take us down to I 80 and then we'll take that into Indiana towards Ohio. In four kilometers, keep to the left on by 290 East. No, I think I'm gonna go right. She Karen wants me to, to go downtown for some reason. Karen always wants me to go downtown Chicago, it's like she wants me to die. No. We go around Chicago. We go around all the bullets. There's downtown off to our left though. Such a beautiful city though. Such a shame it's sort of been running to the ground a little bit. There's a lot of really nice areas of Chicago. Like a lot of really nice areas. There's just a, a lot of really bad areas too. Don't ask me where those areas are because I don't know. That's why I just keep my head up and Keep a stick on the ice and you just keep going. Okay, I gotta keep, I gotta stay right here, bud. Hit the gas, hit the gas, hit the gas, hit the gas. Gas pedal, gas pedal. There you go. I gotta turn right right away. Right up here, I believe. The next right is mine. West Tollway, Interstate 88, Aurora. I don't think that, ah, there it is, 294 South. Oh, it's a tollway. I knew that. This way, oh, this is the guy, this is the place where really people lane dive all the time. Not as much traffic today. I wonder if the, the whole sickness has slowed down traffic, because usually it's all backed up at this corner here, and 
All kinds of people lane diving right here, almost taking out that sign. This is kind of nice. Oh, it's a Sunday too when I'm filming this, that's why. That's why. That makes sense. And it's a Corona Sunday, which means it's even less traffic. Is that a good for me? Keep to the left on I-294 South. Alright, let me get in here. Excuse me! In 400 meters, keep to the left on I-294 South. I want one more lane. Excuse me! One more lane here. Thank you. I think this goes down to three lanes right away, so I want to make sure I'm in the right line. There's like nobody on the highway. Look at this. Even on a Sunday, this is... It's like no traffic. I guess everyone's hiding in their homes. Just like everywhere else. We're in Ohio. And uh, after I went through Chicago there, I, I turned the news on. And apparently there was riots at that exact moment when I was going through Chicago, or they were starting. I didn't see anything. It's a big city, so like I said, it's... One part can be burning down and the other part can be having a party, you know, you never know. It's still a beautiful city. Like, I got nothing personally against Chicago. I, I spent time there. Uh, it's... Downtown is amazing. Especially from someone who comes from like small town countryside in Canada. You go to Chicago and you look at the buildings and you're just, wow. <laughs> all the restaurants, Chicago's got some really good food too, some really good restaurants. That's not all bad. They just get a bad, bad rep in the news uh, because of their, uh, their crime stats from certain neighborhoods. A lot of shootings, bullets flying around, but hey. Don't let that scare you away. Still a nice city to visit when they let you. I mean, with this whole sickness going around, you gotta wait for everything to open back up, I guess. Even me, I gotta stay in my truck as much as possible. I don't go out. Just keep to myself. I try to make as little contact as possible as I deliver my essentialness. Somebody ordered some essential stuff. So I'm bringing them their essential stuff. I can't wait till this whole sickness deal is over though. It is so annoying already. Like, is, every, is anything ever gonna go back to the same, you know? It's, are they ever gonna let it? Like, I have a feeling after November, things are gonna get a little better, but. I mean, who knows? It might get worse. <laughs> you never know. 2020 isn't even half over yet, is it? Yeah, it is. 2020 is half over. Okay, so we're over the hill. You know how those uh, ancient Mayan whatever texts said that the world was going to end in 2012? I've heard from some people that maybe those people who were writing those words were a little bit dyslexic. And they mixed the two and the one around. And the end of the world is actually 2021, not 2012. So that would make everything make a little bit more sense. Another successful Trucker Josh delivery. You're welcome, you're welcome. Somebody down here in Ohio got their stuff on time. Guess I don't gotta wear that anymore. So this is the kind of product I'm gonna hand bomb off to the back. It's all on the floor, all in big heavy boxes. So I've gotta tailgate it to the back of the trailer. Some places don't want me inside. The last place I delivered to, they didn't even want me on the dock, so I just gotta chill out in here in the nice air-conditioned cab. This place here required that I help them. It is required of me that I'm supposed to help tailgate unless if they tell me not to. So I take all those heavy boxes, bring them to the back, they take them, do their thing with them, and then they sign my little paper here saying, Trigger Josh did a very, very good job. I would recommend him five-star review. And maybe they don't say all of that, but their signature, it pretty much says that, pretty much. Yeah. It's, it's a very nice signature, which pretty much says five stars for Trucker Josh. I think so. So, 
thanks for uh, watching today, guys. I'm going to end today's video here, and uh, we'll start tomorrow's video uh, tomorrow. We'll release tomorrow. I hope to see you here. Uh, we'll be going into, I don't think I'm going to get another delivery done today yet. Our next delivery, uh, our next delivery here is in uh, Coronopolis, Pennsylvania. And we'll start that tomorrow morning. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and tell your friend about Trucker Josh. Five stars. That's me.